so we know that it's the time when you're trying to get jobs and we know you're nervous because you don't have a job but I'm here to tell you stop freaking out that you don't have a job okay um, as I've said on this channel and on every single one of our platforms I've been doing this for 10 years I've worked with over 8 million college students everybody is scared they're not gonna get a job and guess what they all get jobs they just all get jobs so Stop comparing yourself to that friend who got an offer from that cool company eight months ago. It's not about them, it's about you. And everybody's search is different. So let's talk about some things that you can do to help you really be confident and stop freaking out about the job. All right, so thing number one, I want you to have networking on the brain. Um, I want you to always be open to conversations with people because you never know who you're gonna meet. And you wanna make sure that you're always putting it out there. I'm looking for a job. And then you wanna be specific. What kind of job are you looking for? People can't help you if they don't clearly understand what you need. So make sure that you have networking on the brain, that you're always putting yourself out there, telling people that you're looking for a job, and then being really specific and telling them the kind of job that you're interested in. Uh, the next thing I wanna talk about, and we were just talking about this the other day on the Intern Queen Instagram, is your job is now to get a job. When I moved to LA from Florida, I didn't have a job, and my job was to get a job, right? My friends had jobs, I didn't. So every morning I'd wake up, and my get a job hours were eight to four, and I found this awesome coffee shop. It was called Romans. It no longer exists in West Hollywood, sadly. But I would go there every day and I would camp out there like a crazy lady all day and I would just focus on the job search. So going to different, of course I was applying on all the websites, but I was also trying to do a good job of picking out the companies where I wanna work and really putting myself out there to try to get a job there and looking at different ways that I could get in front of the people that were important to me. Um, and my next piece of advice for you guys is actually to look for associations that represent the industry that you wanna go into. So for example, um, when I moved out to LA, I was really interested in media and the entertainment business. So there was an organization, I wanna say, I'm probably gonna mess this up, I think it's called J-H-R-T-S, the Junior J-S, J-H-R-T, it's the Junior Association for People Interested in Radio and Television, something like that. But anyways, I took the initiative to reach out to the organization and I said, look, I just graduated college, I don't have a job yet, but I'd love to attend one of your networking events and just sort of listen, learn, and observe and see who I could meet. And they were more than happy to extend a student discount rate to me so that I didn't have to pay because I had no money, the, you know, the full fee to attend this event. So I highly recommend reaching out to whatever associations speak to the industry that you're trying to get into and try to attend events like that because you never know who you're going to meet. And make sure you don't let yourself leave unless you meet at least like three or four people and get their contact info. Quick tip there. And my final tip for you guys, when you're freaking out about the job search process and getting a job and all that, focus on getting your routine on lock. When I got my first job, I did not have a personal routine. I didn't have a bank. I didn't have a dry cleaner to go to. I just didn't have any of my sort of adulting tasks on lock. I didn't have a gym. I didn't have a routine at a gym because I didn't even have a gym to go to. And I felt like once I got my job, it took over my life and I had no time to figure out all of these personal things. And so my job really took over my life. And for a while, I was in a really unhealthy situation, not able to take care of myself personally at all because I was so consumed by this job. So I really encourage you to, while you don't have that first job, get those other things as on lock as possible, even if you're not getting a gym membership because you don't have money yet. You know, I, going in and taking a tour and deciding what gym you wanna be a part of and all those things, just figure that stuff out ahead of time because I think the more sort of together you are personally, the, the more you'll be able to handle that professional transition in a really healthy way. So those are my tips. Don't freak out. You guys got this. And if you need anything, your friendly intern queen is always here. The best way to reach me is probably through email, lauren at internqueen.com, or to DM us on our intern queen Instagram. Bye, guys.